People ask me all the time about CERN and the Mandela Effect. CERN is of no concern. That's Shiva. And he's a male inside of a flaming asshole. The Big Bang is a hoax. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out of the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane. Every compass points to it. You don't have to like it. CERN is a hoax. The Mandela Effect is a hoax. And anybody pushing that shit is a filthy fucking retard lost at sea and officially dead. And uh, nobody has to like it. CERN is a fucking money pit. And uh, the Mandela effect is a fucking joke. I'm explaining to you. I put up gallons of fucking blood, spiritual currency, so I could see into the future and I could do all kinds of cool shit. And I'm telling you, CERN is a money pit. NASA is a money pit. AIDS is a money pit. It's fake. Everything's fake. Ebola is fake. Your whole world is fake. There's nothing real in your world. Your calendar is fake. You put on your satanic robe at graduation. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You're so filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac sick. You're legally dead. Look it up. You're a monster by legal definition. And you're a fucking retard. You're a filthy robot. You have your cell phone. You're cyborged all out. Fucking silly human slave. So I've been pointing out how everybody's a fucking robot. They carry their cell phone around with cameras on both sides and it's constantly listening to it's streaming all the information it gets on you straight to prism systems nsa and you're connected just like they show you in this show you're the fucking robot and most of you watch so much porn on your devices these days is that you're having a robosexual relationship with your device that's what it amounts to just like the father uh, put in the sexual program into his maid robot and then the son had sex with her and he had sex with her and The mom got all pissed off because he was cheating on her with the robot, you know This is what society is you're a freaking robot, you know it Doesn't matter what it is you do. You're gonna get up every single day Like a robot at the same time. You're gonna eat your breakfast at the same time You're gonna go read the newspaper at the same time. You're gonna watch your news at the same time you're going to sing songs to the beat. You're going to, everything about you is just going to be in time. And uh, what you need to do is you need to understand something, that every compass on this fucking planet is pointing to the Holy Grail, where you get eternal life and you're way out of this matrix. And until you get there, you're legally dead. You're officially a robot. And you're a filthy necrophiliac lost at sea. The sun, the sun in my is so very important because the sun, we say, Every morning we say, Father, Son, and we pray to the Son, and we need to mention the name of the Son, because any way, the vibration of this language can activate the good energy of the Son. Like the name of the Son is, in my case, King, King, King. And we need to mention many times, because in that way, the communication with vibration go in the good way and father son can understand this because that's the language they use with my ancestors for communication and ask every time to the son can make us can make us more strong can give us intelligence can can take our about, about us about the community many good things we need to ask the son in that way we can be very happy. In that way, we can do rituals, make happen everything. We need to pray to the Mother Earth. We need to pray to the sky. We need to ask the rain come, because all the trees need to rain, and we have we need to have good water to drink, make us healthy. In all the places, in all the world. When the Mayas we pray, we pray to the Mother Earth because it's only one big mother we have in every place in this beautiful dimension. Think of the sun as a relative. You know, we have the sun, which we call Ampetui, which means, you know, our, uh, the, the sun, the father. It's our father because of the energy that that helps to create our soul and our spirit and helps us to warm and to create life on er or just everything on mother earth and the sun is our our greatest uh, messenger and we we 
work with the sun through ceremony because the sun gives us what whatever is necessary through messaging. Now the messaging system works through your eyes and the and the sun talks through your eyes. So you got to learn to listen with your eyes because the, the sun the, at this moment the sun it gives this message and it goes through right into your hypothalamus glands which in turn go directly to your pituitary and your pineal and they realign everything so that all, all those uh, gifts of, of clear audience and clairvoyance are activated. So that's what's necessary for people to, to, uh, to create good messages and being very clear about what comes from the sun. So I made a blood sacrifice, my own blood, into the earth at high noon. I looked at the sun and I spoke my intent. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. And I'm telling you, the sun is conscious. Take a look at this. Who is to be sacrificed at high noon to the sun god? Okay, now I also did this at midnight. I put my blood into the earth. I looked down and I called out to the great spirit, focusing on the black sun. And I'm telling you, I've been infused with cool knowledge. I've published video proof that I've spilled my blood over my intent, that I intend to bring forth heaven. I published it for the entire universe to see, and I was given unique knowledge that allows me to take over this world without anybody uh, being able to stop me. So at the center of the flat earth plane where every compass is pointing to, you're going to find the everyone enter her eye zone. And this is where you're going to find the invisible mountain, Mount Maru. Uh, everything they've ever told you about this place is a lie. I'm telling you there's a crater there and then there's a hole which is the entrance into the Garden of Eden where you'll find trees that go on for what appears to be ever. And it's just like you see in movies with giants and they're intelligent and they don't want to kill you or anything like that and to get into this place you have to be at a higher level of consciousness and I'm telling you I know where this place is and if you want to go there with me I recommend you place your blood beside my own and all you have to do is just type into your computer blood over intent into your YouTube search engine and hit enter and you scroll down you see all of us Spilling our blood, our spiritual currency, over our written intent to be bringing forth heaven and earth. This is the reason why. You're in the Colosseum right now, people. And the gods are looking down on you. You can't see anything. I'm explaining it to you. I can see it all. And it's all showing me exactly what I need to do to save all of our lives. Get eternal life or get our way out of this fucking matrix and wake the fuck up. You don't have to like it. I spilt my blood up gallons of fucking blood and uh, I got the fucking holy spear I'm the only one screaming this shit out because everybody's so filthy fucking retarded if I don't make videos every day for heaven's sakes everybody will fucking die surely the holy grail is right over there that's what's been hidden from you and everybody you know is so filthy fucking retarded I mean how you don't make videos every day pointing this out I don't know you must be filthy fucking retarded okay this is the game Agony. You see the feminine. The, like the sun. The menstrual blood dripping into the Holy Grail. You see the black sun. That's like in the Egyptians had the candy cane. One side of a light hole is a black hole. You see the black and the gold. So here what I'm seeing is you're birthed into this world through your mother. You'll be birthed out of this world through your mother. Into the land of perpetual twilight. You see the sigil to memorize? Memorize sigil. The arrow pointing down the feminine. Okay, I dripped my blood into the earth asking the great spirit for guidance and she showed me the holy hole and how to take over the universe and get everybody eternal life so you bow your head and prayer to the black sun you close your eyes make a wish you throw your coin into the wishing well this is who you're wishing to the divine feminine the earth goddess the memory what you call lucifer and you see you birthed into this world through your mother you're going to be birthed out of this world through your mother the goddess of the earth you're going to go through her womb and you're going to come out into the land of perpetual twilight and it says over here, and I saw the woman overcome as with the wine of the blood of the saints and the blood of those put to death because of Jesus. And when I saw her, I was overcome with a great wonder. 
as I was overcome with the great wonder, as I've been explaining to you, that the great earth spirit is a goddess of the earth, that she's got no dick, and she's a beautiful, nurturing, motherly woman, and she wants you to bathe in her eternal waters at the center of the dish and pass into the land of perpetual twilight. And what I'm telling you is everybody's lost at sea, legally dead, officially. And they don't want to know the truth. They prefer the idea that they're on a ball floating through space as an accident and stemming from monkeys, which is not the case. And make, that makes them filthy, retarded people. So, you're in the land of the dead, literally. Everybody, their soul is in the Vatican. It doesn't matter who you shake right now and ask them, uh, do, do you see nasty? Yeah, I'm, we're on a ball floating. I mean, it's just pitiful. You think you're a monkey evolution? Yeah. I mean, they're so far from reality, it's not even funny. They don't know why they bow their head in prayer. They don't know nothing about the astrolite. They don't nothing about one side of a light holds a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out, that you're on the E-Creation disc or CD, that there's a land of perpetual twilight. Once we pass through the everyone enter her eye zone, you were birthed into this world through your mother, you're going to be birthed out of this world through your mother. And since I'm the only one pointing this out day after day after day after day, how to get to the Holy Grail, it's at the end of every compass. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny. And uh, I'm just going to keep pointing out the obvious. So you'll notice about the game Agony, all the mouths and the teeth and the gums. It's because every word you speak is a magic spell. You learned spell casting in school, and you took your test with your number two shit pencil. You sit in a pew, it's the ash trailing light coming out of the black hole sun. And everybody only focuses on total shit and lies, the space station and all that. It's all fake. Everything's fake. There's a dome up there. The Earth is not floating through space as an accident. You're not made from monkeys. Everything you think you know to be true is the reverse of truth. The devil already has your soul in the Vatican, and your parents gave it up willingly. Now you're lost at sea. You're officially dead. By legal definition, you're a monster with no inheritable blood. You don't have to like it, but you're living the game agony right now. And see, the holy hole's been blocked off from you. You're like an aborted baby fetus. You need to get to the Holy Grail before you're dead. You've been locked up here in the land of the dead.